of humanity in the name of Jesus. Amen. The launch of the State of the Heart Virtual Reality Lab was attended by policy drivers and by also the education sector, students and faculty officers. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Demio Goyna, says the facility will position the university amongst notable medical institutions in the world. We are bringing the future into our classrooms today. Our students will now go through beyond textbooks and lectures. They will walk through the beating human heart and practice surgical procedures in safe simulated environments and connect with international experts in real time. This is a quantum leap in experiential, experiential learning and it's a change from traditional to innovative learning. This occasion is not just about unveiling new infrastructure, it is about opening new doors of opportunity for innovation, excellence and the future of medical education in our state. We are blazing the trail, we are setting examples for other universities to uh, come up. I want to thank the Vice Chancellor again and his team that the council is 100% behind you. Whatever innovation you want to introduce, please go ahead. It's an initiative in the right direction. And for us at the assembly, when we see things like this, whenever you bring your these things, without asking questions, we'll say, please approve for them. A major feature of the event was the practical demonstrations on the use of the high tech gadget, which can enable students to learn and simulate medical procedures without causing harm to any patients. It's thrilling and I feel like it's going to help the medical students in a lot of ways. We have limited cadavers to work with. Now with this anatomy um, simulation, we can practice over and over and over again. Huge investment in terms of finance the government is putting in. So the education sector is in good hands. We are very happy for what is going on. And uh, like we said, if you want to change society, this is where you start. We have uh, anchored our success to the support of His Excellency and the government of Baeza State, who has always prioritized the education sector, because education is very, very important. Theophilus Akidi, Arise News.